train him around. I love potatoes. And we haven't actually done a potato gratin before. No, we haven't. We've done lots of potato dishes, but not a gratin. No. Which is why today we're going to show you my version, which is sweet potato gratin mm -hmm. and infused uh, cream. And then we'll serve with savoy cabbage and uh, pork fillet. Awesome. Okay, so a whole good, good. meal in itself. Yep. Um, but we will just start with gratin, that takes the longest in the oven. A couple of marriage pipe potatoes and a couple of sweet potatoes. So if you can just peel those, one of you. Yep, is this a left-handed peeler? Probably not. Right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> John, in fact, if I can leave all those with you to do those. All of and them? Jamie and I are going to make our I think I am. cream, a potato peeling machine. So we're going to put a splash of oil in here and we're going to infuse a cream. Okay. Now, when I say that, we just need to put some really basic flavours in. So some bay leaves. Yep. And some thyme, if you can throw those in the pan. About half a bulb of garlic, okay, yep. all goes in. I'm guessing we're going to sieve these out later, are we? We are, so don't panic about that. Don't panic. Take the onion, roughly chop those. If you can keep those moving in the pan, and we want a nice, sort of quite aggressive fry on those to get some colour. <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper. Once we've got some colour on our vegetables, we add in cream. Now this is an awful lot of cream, but this is the beautiful thing about a gratin, is it's amazing, okay? Mm. So enough to coat all the potatoes later on. And then we bring that to a simmer and let all those flavours infuse into that cream, okay? So now what we need to do is slice our potatoes, okay? Now we're gonna use a machine, but you can of course use a knife and get nice thin slices. Yep. Alternatively, since we've got the machine, it can go in there. It's on the, do you just wanna show you the blade with the grating slice up? We can put that on there, hold the button in and just push down. And what you end up with is Whoa. pretty perfectly sliced potatoes every time, okay? Wow. Much, much easier than you can do Pick by hand. Like Having a pick, 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 potato potato potato. <laughs> pick a chip, pick a chip. Okay, I'll there tell we you go. What it is. So if you can start grating the rest of those, okay. and now for a layering process, we've got all these really thin slices of potato, yep. and all we need to do is lay them across the bottom of a dish, okay. a dish that can go in the oven. In between each layer, a little bit of salt, and then layer alternate white potato and sweet potato. The reason is you need the starch from the normal potatoes to help it all stick together. Yep but you want that nice colour sweetness. And the more layers of thinner potato, the better. And you can make it huge. So if you want to put a nice family serve, you've got a big family to feed, yep. um, or a big group of friends, ideal. Fantastic. Unfortunately, John doesn't have any friends, so he'll probably never get a chance to use yeah, this dish. But he's got a lovely big I'll family. I'll make up my so. own. So yeah. I think we're about there. Yep. At which point, to push it all down, and then we take our cream. Now you see the cream's been bubbling there. I you mentioned about the straining. Infused. You didn't mention Very infused. Really. Just Did you? taste that. Taste the cream All right. It's garlicky, it's thymey, it's herby, it's got the onion. Yeah, it's good. Okay, it's all right. And then what we do is we just pour that over, and the whole thing dribbles down between the layers. And then at this point, it goes into an oven about 160 degrees, so not too hot, but for a good hour. Okay, and it'll all bubble up and cook all the way through. Okay, so if you can do that, and we will clear up. So while our potato is cooking, we can focus on uh, the protein in the dish which is pork fillet. Now this is massively underrated. Because it's fillet, people think beef fillet is expensive, they presume pork is the same. Yeah. So they tend to avoid it, but it's not. That whole pork fillet there, enough to serve three or four people, easily less than three quid. Really? Okay, so surprisingly cheap. All we're gonna do to add to it is salt, you can put some pepper on there, scatter yep. some herbs over it as well. This is just right. our thyme. Then just massage it into the pork, because okay. that's what's gonna basically marinate our pork before we get, get both hands. There you go. Garlic can go in there. So at this point, you can put it into a food bag yep. and let it marinate for a good couple of hours in the fridge, or I think we'll get away with just cooking it straight away, but you do want a nice hot pan, almost smoking, so you get a good oh, sizzle. Good and what we want to do is give it a good colour all the way around, and then it will go into the oven to join our potatoes. So our veg for the dish, just a few savoy cabbage leaves. We'll just break these off. I'm going to take out these rooty bits, Yep. and everything else just kind of crumbles together, and you just want slices. Not far off chiffonade, if you remember our... Oh, nice good video. Good <laughs> so you can see now we've got good colour on one side. Okay, we want the same colour on the other side. Then into the oven for about 20 minutes. As I say, we'll just sweat off some of our cabbage. Yep. The whole dish will come together, no trouble at all. So we take it all out of the oven and let mm. our pork rest for a little while. And our gratin oh, now cooked all the way through. You know that you can put a knife through nice and easy. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. If we take a nice big portion of that out, you can see all the layers and onto our plate. Our pork, we can get some nice slices like that. Still beautifully sucked in the middle. There we go. And finish it off with our cabbage, which has just been sweated off. A little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. It's all you need. But there, 
is a beautiful dish and you don't need any gravy or sauce. You've got enough cream from our gratin and a little drizzle of our pork juices out of the pan. So there we go, Katrina Miranda wanted something potato. Yep. And we went with our sweet potato gratin, pork fillet and cabbage, sorted. Oh, I've got some curry jump oh, off ready. Let's go. I love that with the sweet potato. Oh, fantastic. It's really That's creamy. That's really cool. Really I just creamy. love the layers, the colour it gets yeah. as well, as well yeah. as the sweetness. It's all visual and edible. A bit of cabbage as well. Yeah. Ben, you've really knocked this one out of the park. Katrina mm. Miranda must be over the moon with this. Basically, go out, get yourself some potatoes, get a bit of cream and all the other stuff you put in it. <laughs> <laughs> Onto a winner. Yeah. Well, 